What's going on everyone? How you doing? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos and I have a question for you. Do you like ice cream? In our house, we love ice cream, but there's a couple of problems with that. First, a lot of the keto ice creams that are on the market, they tend to be a little expensive, anywhere between like six and nine dollars for a pint. Then you have to go on their website, you have to order them and have them shipped to your house. The shipping can be expensive. There's usually a four or a six pint minimum order to have it shipped. Then when you get it, you have to put it on the counter for like 30 to 45 minutes to let it come up to the right temperature that you can scoop it out. Then you have the store-bought ones, things like Halo Top and Enlightened, and they taste really good, but they're not really keto ice creams. They're kind of keto friendly, but they tend to be high in carbohydrates, especially considering you only get like a half a cup of it. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a keto ice cream treat. It's got really good keto macros, it's super easy to make, and it takes less than two minutes to make it. And I'm gonna do that right after this. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be a super easy, super quick ice cream. You're not gonna have to put it in an ice cream churn or put it in a mason jar and roll it around and put it in the freezer and then take it back out and roll it around or anything like that. All you're gonna need is a few simple ingredients and a blender. Now, I do wanna warn you though, this is not going to be that really rich, thick ice cream like a gelato. It's more of a cross between an ice milk and an ice cream, but it's really easy to make. It's got really good macros, and the best part is you get a lot of it in a serving. So let's get into the ingredients that we're gonna need. First thing we're gonna need is some type of a keto-friendly milk. Um, I like to use this Living Harvest hemp milk. Uh, you can also use milkadamia, which we use a lot, or the coconut milks. You don't have to use the shelf-stable ones. You can use the ones that they have in the refrigerated section at your grocery store. We tend to go towards these because a lot of times they're on sale uh, in uh, Whole Foods. Uh, but I like the hemp milk because of the nutrition. This one has 80 calories in a cup, eight grams of fat, one carbohydrate and two grams of protein. It's one of the highest fat ones that we can find. Just make sure that you get the unsweetened one and check the macros before you start using it. The next thing you're gonna need is some type of a keto-friendly protein powder. Uh, we like to either use this Quest protein powder, we either use the salted caramel, or there's also a cinnamon toast crunch, uh, or we'll use the Isopure, and this is available in a bunch of flavors. Like, I like the banana, this is cookies and cream. Uh, the difference between the two of them, this one here has a couple of carbs. I think there's three carbs in a serving. Uh, this one is zero carbs. This is gonna have a little bit more flavor, especially, like I said, this is salted caramel. Uh, whereas this is going to have some flavor but not be quite as sweet as the Quest version. So it's kind of up to you whichever one you want to use. We're going to use this one today. Next, you're going to need some xanthan gum, and this is to give it more of that creamy texture when you blend it up. Then we're going to use some heavy whipping cream. Uh, the heavy whipping cream is to add some fat and also give it a little bit more creamy texture. Then I like to add a little bit of extra sweetener to it. We use monk fruit extract. You can also use stevia. You can even use a little bit of powdered erythritol, but we're trying to like steer away from erythritol as much as possible and go more towards the monk fruit and the stevia. And then finally, you're gonna need some type of an MCT powder or oil. You can either use the MCT powder, you can use the MCT oil, and the purpose of this again is to up the fat. Now you can eliminate this if you want, the only thing is, is you're gonna have a much higher protein ice cream than um, the keto macros that I like to personally follow. Uh, the one thing I do wanna warn you though, uh, when you're trying to add fat to this, don't use butter and don't use coconut oil because what'll happen is it'll solidify into little chunks when you start blending it up with the ice and you're gonna get these little chunky bits. Uh, the coconut oil, we actually from experience found, it becomes like little waxy bites in there. Finally, you're gonna need about two cups of ice and then you're gonna need a blender. So let me go ahead and get the blender. We're gonna set it up and you're gonna see how quick and easy it is to make this. Okay, so we're gonna use a Vitamix. I have not tried this out on other blenders, but any good high-speed blender with a tamper should work. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with our milk and we're gonna put one cup in there. And I'm not measuring it because there is a cup uh, indicator here on the side, but we're gonna use one cup of our milk. And the recipe for this is going to be, there'll be a link for it down in the description here. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Okay. 
Now to that, I'm going to add my protein powder. I'm going to add one scoop of, I'm using a uh, perfect uh, keto MCT powder. One scoop, I'm using vanilla. Then I'm going to put a quarter a teaspoon, a heaping quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. And then depending on how sweet you want it, I'm going to put about six to seven drops of the monk fruit extract. Now you can also add some nuts or anything like that you want. Uh, I choose to leave it just like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the top on it. I'm going to set this down to low, turn it all the way down, and I'm just going to start off and get all the ingredients mixed. All I'm trying to do here is mix the ingredients up. Now I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to add my ice. And you want the ice just a little bit up above the liquid. I'm going to add a couple more ice cubes there. Next, I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to grab my tamper. I'm going to start here again. If you have a Vitamix, you know how this works. You're going to start it on low. It's going to be a little loud. Turn it up. Go ahead and tamper. And just like that, we have ice cream. Let me go ahead and grab a bowl and I'm going to show you what this looks like. Okay, so like I said, that was super quick. Now, here's the best part about this. Look at how much ice cream. We tend to make this one thing. I can, this is supposed to be one serving, but we tend to make, take it and we uh, split it up between the two of us. But look at the amount of ice cream you get. Oh, there's actually still some more in there. Now, I almost forgot the most important thing. Everybody wants a topping on their ice cream. We'll put a nice spoon of these Anthony's uh, cocoa nibs on top. And take a look at that. Let's go ahead and take a taste of this. This makes such a great ice cream treat. Again, it's not like really rich and thick and creamy like you're gonna eat a gelato ice cream, but it will definitely satisfy that urge. Uh, it doesn't cost nearly as much as buying a keto ice cream. It only takes a couple minutes. Now here's the best part. Here's the nutrition. If you eat this entire bowl, it's 383 calories for the entire bowl. It's 27 grams of fat, 26 grams of protein, it's seven total carbs and four fiber, and that makes it three net carbs. So if you want to indulge, there's a nice under 400 calories for, I would tell you, about three to four cups of ice cream in the end. Now, your nutrition is going to completely be dependent on what your protein powder is and if you're adding all these fats. You want to cut down on the calories a little bit, don't add as much fat. You don't mind the calories, add a little more fat. This bowl actually comes out to be 69% fat, which is acceptable for me in my macros. So that's our video for today. Hopefully you guys learned something. Do us a favor, if you try to make this, let us know down in the comments section. Let us know what you think. What kind of protein powder did you use? What kind of toppings are you putting on your ice cream? What is your favorite like store-bought ice cream? You know, we love interacting with you guys and we try to answer all the comments that you leave down below. If you did like this video, hit the like button for us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And until next time, bye. I'm gonna enjoy some more ice cream.